When it comes to the election, will we have that hung parliament? Will it be a Cameron majority? Could Gordon Brown even win? Who knows? I, at the moment, uh, famously, I hate predicting election results, especially five months on. At the moment, I would think a hung parliament. It will seem in the early part of the year that we're going to have a general election earlier than we thought. We won't. It'll be in May. And my prediction is that it will be, if not a hung parliament, then a tiny majority that will see us possibly even have two elections within the same year. Labour will lose, Gordon Brown will cease to be Prime Minister, David Cameron will become Prime Minister, and I think he'll get a narrow majority. I don't think it'll be huge, maybe 20, maybe 30, um, and he'll find that quite difficult in power. I would confidently wager on the fact that Labour will not get through this election as the largest party. I think it's almost unimaginable now that um, Gordon Brown will be able to rescue things to the point where he comes back and wins more seats for his party than the Conservatives. I know that we're all taking bets down on the comment desk about hung parliaments and so on, but I, I think the Tories are going to win and win pretty well. It's going to be quite a nasty political battle, I think, for the next five months. Um, I think the dividing lines are going to be pretty clear now. I think we're going to see Toffs versus Labour. We're going to see marriage and the family with a lot of uh, argument about whether David Cameron's right on saying the family is the thing and Labour saying well actually there are plenty of other ways of living. In the run-up to the election of Tony Blair as Prime Minister in 1997 there was a, a palpable sense of enthusiasm for change and for change in particular that Tony Blair represented. You could see that for example in increasing membership of the Labour Party. Well there's nothing to compare with that now. Conservative Party membership is declining. The Liberal Democrats, perhaps buoyed by these polls that say there could well be a hung parliament, I think will be listened to at least a little bit more. Their complaint is always that no one listens to what they're saying. But with the prospect of a hung parliament, they're going to come more to the fore and their policies, their mansion tax and uh, their other policies are going to come under more scrutiny. And depending what happens in May or June, it's going to be a really interesting second half of the year.